This children's book from uh, 1955, it's the story of a pair of twins, Joey and Joan, living on a desert ranch with their young mother, who is a widow. They are income dependent, at least dependent on having enough income to, to keep living on the ranch, on a scientist from the city who is a paleontologist looking for dinosaur bones in the uh, Rocky Canyons on uh, their property. And as you can tell from the title of the book and from the pictures here, Joey and Joan discover a stegosaurus out in the canyons. Who can speak English? He is surprisingly wise and eloquent for someone whose uh, dialogue consists mostly of reminding you how stupid he is. I mentioned this when I got it uh, in the mail. It was something that I saw mentioned on Facebook, and I was thunderstruck because I had read this book when I was a child, and I had a vivid, though not detailed, memory of it, and I had no memory of the title or who wrote it or anything. And as soon as I saw this book mentioned online, I was like, that's it. That's the book. So I found a copy. I wish I had uh, the dust jacket, of course. But from page one, I was impressed with how good the writing is. Uh, this Again, this is a children's book. This is not a young adult book. This is for children, small children. Authors who write books for this audience, they have a tendency to write down to the kids. Uh, Lampman doesn't. The writing style is actually quite good and quite mature, I thought. She has a respect for her audience. So that's probably why, one of the reasons why I enjoyed the book when I was a child. The story is very charming. The, the stegosaurus itself is very charming. Um, the science is surprisingly good. There's a lot of talk of paleontology and, and about fossils. Not all the science is uh, up to date. There's a point at which the stegosaurus reminds the kids that um, only birds have feathers. Dinosaurs don't have feathers. There's also a moment here in chapter one, you can see it in the picture here, where the stegosaurus saves the kids' lives by stepping on a... Uh, a rattlesnake, and it's made very clear that the rattlesnake is killed. I think uh, a book written today, the author would avoid killing the rattlesnake. Well, I was I, I found reading this to be a great joy. It was great fun. Um, the art is quite good. I, being a cartoonist myself, I really love this sharp, clean style. It's very expressive, has a lot of motion to it. But I learned uh, two things, namely why I had such a strong, vivid memory of it, and also why my memory lacked such detail. The, the number one thing that I remembered from this book, the only thing I remembered from it, actually, it happened in the first chapter when the kids first met the Stegosaurus. It describes him as being physically very colorful, with broad stripes of oranges and tans, so that when he stood against the canyon wall, people actually couldn't see him. That impressed me, and that was the one thing that stayed with me all these decades. The one big problem with the book, and the reason why I didn't remember the rest of it, at about the halfway point, the author introduces a subplot where two men in a small propeller airplane make an emergency landing on the ranch because they're out of fuel. One of them has a briefcase that he never lets out of his sight and never lets go of. And of course they turn out to be bank robbers and then the kids have to catch the bank robbers and they need the stegosaurus's help. So it started out being a really interesting and really unusual story that uh, I haven't, the likes of which I really hadn't seen before or since. And then it turned into an episode of Lassie which I really don't care about. Still, it was a very enjoyable read. I would definitely recommend that uh, if you have children 
who enjoy dinosaurs I mean, and what children don't. This is a book that I recommend that you get and, uh, and read to your children. It's great fun. The Stegosaurus himself, as I said, is very charming and very memorable. So many times, stories that involve children and an animal, the animal will die or something. Th that doesn't happen in this book. You, you can rest assured there's no death other than the rattlesnake. But yeah, this is a double thumbs up for a good science fiction children's book with a lot of good science. And it's also an antique, and uh, you can discuss with your children why Joey and Joan don't just use their cell phones. <laughs> but there you go. Shy Stegosaurus of Cricket Creek. You can support 30 Second Sci-Fi and my other projects by becoming a patron. There is a link in the description below. And visit the 30 Second Sci-Fi Tumblr. That's my headquarters. In addition to my videos, I publish links and updates there every day.